Hi Leo, the Abby Phoenix here. Welcome back to my channel. Hello to all of you who may be new. We are here to do your May 2021 reading. Um, this is also going to be incorporated in June energy. So let's just go ahead and get into it. There isn't, um, I think because we are on the precipice of an eclipse that will be coming along. Sorry, give me one second. <clears throat> so, you know, um, eclipses force change. Come on, look. Judgment comes out as I was saying that. I didn't even look at the card yet. Get, get out, okay? <laughs> oh, I just, I love those moments where it's just like, there, there is no second guessing. It is exactly as you're channeling it, okay? Um, so we are coming up on a major eclipse um, that will be taking place in June. Um, and, you know, the North Node, South Node have been on the Gemini Sagittarius axis. And eclipses are divine events. Like what happens during those moments was meant to happen. And it seems as for those of you who are awake, you know, at least I would like to think that those of you who are viewing my videos and it's resonating is because you are awake. You may be in different stages of your awakening process, but you realize how everything fits together. It may not always make sense at that very moment, but it will. Um, and so this next eclipse is going to be extremely major. And I, I, this didn't pertain to anybody else's reading. And I think it's because I'm picking up on the eclipse um, cycles that took place during the Leo and Aquarius um, North and South Node energy in what, 2016, 2017, 2018, that time frame. Um, so I think that there's something huge for you that is coming that you really have been, um, I want to say burning the midnight oil to make happen since then. At the bottom of the deck, we have the hermit. So even though, um, you know, the eclipse is going to be taking place in June, I feel like a lot of this is going to have its blooming, um, have its moment in the sun. <laughs> Leo's your sun card. Um, is going to be during Virgo season. So after your birthday season, I think that's because you're going to be celebrating, you know, you're going to be putting fine, like finishing touches and finalizing certain things that you want to see happen from um, this energy building. But ultimately, it's going to be taking some time. Um, it's May. Uh, so in the next, you know, three to four months, you're going to start seeing your rewards from here. So we have judgment. I love that. Um, <clears throat> we have here the eight of wands. We have the king of pentacles, the eight of swords, and we have the fool. Um, you guys just have infinite possibilities and opportunities that are going to be coming your way. Um, that you, that I think you wanted, Leos, um, that I think you were hoping were going to come, but I just don't think you understand how big this is going to be for you. And there have been a lot of moments of self-doubt. Uh, a lot of your readings with me in the last, you know, two years, um, for sure, um, have been about you questioning yourself, have been about Leos not really being the, the stereotypical Leos that we know them, the boastful, the, you know, the in the mix, the the overconfident. And, and I'm not saying that any of those things in a bad way. It's just you typically rule and you have been kind of sat down to one, humble yourself, but secondly, to realize where 
things aren't just going to unveil themselves to you. Like there is work that you have to do. There is trust that you need to have. There is um, there are tasks that you're going to have to share. You know, like there there's going to be credit that has to be given. Um, and a lot of you too that I know. <laughs> uh, one of the things is loyalty is huge, and I think that you have also been battling in this last in these last couple of years with what does loyalty really look like. You know, like you have your version, which is the standard, you know, Webster's Dictionary version of I I'm committed to someone who has shown me time and time again that they're committed to me, right? But when it's a give and take type of relationship with someone else is down and out, they may not be able to give you the same level of commitment that you are giving them. And so what do you do in those circumstances? What do you do when someone that you really care about and love, you know, um, fails you, disappoints you? Do you just cut them off? Do you, you know, like you get angry? Absolutely. But then when that anger subsides, what do you want to do? Do you still want them to be in your life? Do you not like all of those types of questions you have been dealing with in the last few years, Leo. And I think that that's all in efforts of getting you here um, to what is about to be happening for you. So like I said, you're going to have a lot of opportunities that are going to be available to you that you're going to have to choose between, you know, um, and it's, it's just going to be a beautiful day. And I think during your actual birthday season, that's where your mindset is going to be, not necessarily on securing a lot of these deals. I want to say, you know, in some cases, make them work for it. You know, like just because they are presenting you with an offer, is it the best offer for you? Like, again, it's not going to be that, well, I knew you were coming or I knew this was going to happen or how could you not choose me? I'm me. Like, yeah, you can sit there and have that type of mentality, but I really want you to pay attention to what is being offered because a lot of those things, I'm surprised we don't have the seven of cups here. Justice is here. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking of that type of energy where it's just like, just because it's all shiny and gold, does it mean that what is actually going to come from it is any good for you? So please make sure that you are using, you know, the right frame of mind there. Um, but you're gonna be, you're gonna be on the top, Leo. You're going to return to your throne, but you're new. Um, and this full card again, just talking about all the endless opportunities that are available for you, the the constant communication. But please make sure that you're you're not trapping yourself. Um, like how you used to just because you are who you are. Um, you are, that's, that's, that's facts. But at the same time, like use the lessons that you have learned to your advantage here. Okay, um, I, that's pretty much it for you. Uh, this is really exciting. I'm, I'm super happy for you. Congratulations in advance. Um, you know, invest in a lawyer, invest in an accountant, invest in people that are going to be able to keep track of some of the details that you may not be thinking about just to make sure that those deals are really going to be lucrative and, you know, that you won't have to pay for it, you know, way, way down the line. Surrendering the journey, release control. And we have three for you. We have journey by moonlight, believe in magic. We have finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source, and protected by angels. I was going to say angels. Angels. You are cherished by the angels. So, again, very destined. Again, talking about the eclipse, and I didn't do that for any other reading because there really hasn't been too much planetary influence here. It really just seems it's about the energy and um, the energy is calling for different signs to be going through different things. But for you in particular, um, take what you were really building in 2017, 2018, when the eclipses were around you in Aquarius, take all of that energy, information, lessons learned, and be ready to apply them 
as this plays out between now and August, okay? So if you want something that's more specific to your situation, by all means, book a reading with me. All the information is down in the description box below. Please join me in the FIRE family on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and also here on YouTube. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I thank you all so much for your patronage and continuing to um, support me. And until next time, mwah, so much love. Bye.